According to a new study, 26,000 people die prematurely in the U.S. each year because they lack health insurance. The study comes on the heels of a Supreme Court ruling that could overturn the 2010 Affordable Health Care Act, also known as Obamacare. I take a closer look at the numbers nationwide and here in Florida. Dying for coverage, the deadly consequences of being uninsured. That report released by the consumer group Families USA says more than 26,000 people between the ages of 25 and 64 prematurely die in the U.S. each year due to lack of health insurance. I always say to my clients who are uninsured is that's a very dangerous place to be in because tomorrow you may be uninsurable. Florida has the third highest rate of premature deaths at almost 2,300 a year. Leslie Dwyer is a health insurance agent and owner of Suncoast Health Advisors in Sarasota. It's not necessarily surprising. I find that I don't get a lot of calls for insurance from healthy people. It's people who are uninsurable that call and are dying to get insurance, but at that point, they cannot. The report based its findings on data from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention and the U.S. Census Bureau. Experts say low-income families do have options, but not very good ones. There are other plans out there that have less underwriting requirements, but then there's also the state plan. It's called PCIP. In the next couple of days, a decision could be made on the fate of the Affordable Health Care Act passed in 2010 that would, among other things, ensure millions who are currently uninsured. Dwyer says millions could see a big ripple effect if there's a refusal of the legislation, especially in the area of preventative care. They've set up this program. They've got so many people in place currently insured on the program. And now where do these people go? It's going to flood the market again of all these uninsured. Healthcare accounts for 18% of the U.S. gross domestic product. Now the Supreme Court did not make a ruling Thursday. The next most likely day for a ruling is Monday, June 25th, leaving the economic basis of the entire healthcare industry in limbo.